Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Thursday, December 19th, 2019. Let's take a look at some of our solar conditions right now. Right now, the solar wind speed is coming in at 521.6 kilometers per second with a density of 2.5. Uh, our sunspots. Right now, we do not have any sunspots to report. This is day 36 now in a row without sunspots. However, there is an active region above the equatorial region in the northern part just now approaching from the eastern limb that is an area that i will consider to be a watch area and see if it as it turns earth facing does it die out or does it continue to grow and possibly become a sunspot at this point right now it is not a sunspot so that makes 36 days in a row 273 without sunspots here in 2019. TCI remains unchanged at 3.17. KP indices sitting at a 3 with a 24 hour max of a 4. And let's go ahead over to the grandsolarminimum.com, the space weather part of our website. And all is quiet. Solar X ray flux, solar proton flux, and geomagnetic activity. We did hit the KP of 4 at least four times in the last 24 hours. Not quite yet a geomagnetic storm, but we were on the cusp of possibly seeing some minor G1 activity. All right, let's go and take a look at spaceweather.com really quick. Interesting thing here, ring of fire, solar eclipse. Millions of people are about to see a ring of fire in the daytime sky. It's an annual annular solar eclipse. On December 26th, the moon will pass directly in front of the sun, not quite covering the entire solar disk. The path of annularity, annularity cuts across Saudi Arabia, India, Indonesia, and Guam, among other places. And solar wind last night sparked up some minor uh, auroras, but a minor stream of solar wind hit Earth's magnetic field on December 18th. The impact did not cause geomagnetic storms. Nevertheless, the Arctic sky watcher saw it affect the sky turned green, report said Chad Blakely who snapped this picture, by the way. And the, sky, the aurora was dancing nonstop after the sky grew dark around 4.30 p.m. local time. The solar wind is flowing from a ragged hole in the sun's atmosphere. The hole is wide enough to battle Earth, or bathe Earth, in solar wind for the next two days. So this means Arctic sky watchers should be alert for auroras as well tonight. All right, let's take a look at our weather across the pond. Our, friend, our friends over here in the UK, Ireland, and Scotland, and other parts of Europe. Right now, Spain getting drenched with rain right now as we speak. And a lot of rain moving towards the north here. London, Wales, you know, uh, other parts, Ireland, the, the western or the eastern part of uh, Ireland, I should say. Uh, you guys will be looking at rain showers often on today. And some heavy rain moving in on the shore of the western shores of Italy, heading right towards Florence as we speak. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our forecast for our friends. This evening, today, some dry and sunny weather across central and northern areas at times this morning. However, rain will soon move across the parts of Britain before affecting central areas through the afternoon. Windy, but rather mild today as well. Rain continue in uh, north into Scotland tonight, Northern Ireland, further rain spreading north to affect southern central areas overnight. Another mild night with winds gradually easing. And then tomorrow, rain at first across the eastern England and northwest Scotland will gradually clear. Elsewhere, there will be some sunshine, also a few sharp showers in the southwest. And the outlook from Saturday through Monday, sunshine and scattered showers, mainly in the west. A longer spell of rain is likely to affect the south on Saturday night. Temperatures near normal with overnight frost increasing likely on Sunday night going into Monday as well. All right, let's jump. Oh, before we leave, let's take a look at the flood alerts. Those have jumped down a little bit. It was 152 this morning, but the flood warnings have gone up. Uh, we are now looking at 15 flood warnings, 146 flood alerts. This is just to be prepared for possible flooding. And the good news is zero severe flood warnings right now across the UK, but still dealing with lots of moisture 
and still more rain moving in into southern parts of England as we speak and that will continue to fall throughout the day today. Now let's jump across back to the United States. Watch out folks in the Northwest. Here comes that spooky snow in Spokane, Washington. No, I'm just kidding. It always snows there, right? Anyway, uh, more snow and showers across the Northwest, uh, Oregon and Washington today, and then some lake effect snow is still affecting Buffalo and the South Towns, not a lot. The upper part of Michigan, Interlochen, uh, Traverse City, light snow showers today. Other than that, guys, we're pretty quiet. There is some rain shower development uh, through Miami, but a pretty quiet weather day, guys. But we woke up to some really cold temperatures in everybody in the United States, even parts of Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, below freezing today. How about that? So more of the, all of the panhandle was in freezing temperatures and the cold stretched almost down into the middle part of Florida. That's amazing. Nonetheless, everybody else is also cold. Every single state in the U.S. except for Hawaii has a freezing temperature range today. Watches and warnings. Again, the Northwest, watch out in spooky Spokane, Washington. All that snow that might be coming. Uh, flood alerts across the the coast there are gale warnings also outside of Washington and Seattle um, same thing for Hawaii and also in the northeast as well some winds to be watching for other than that guys we're really 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 quiet when it comes to weather today here's our low temperatures across the United States that light purple is negative zero so the darker stuff the purples uh, very very cold in fact here in upstate New York, we woke up to a temperature of 2 degrees Fahrenheit, above zero. One more day like that tomorrow morning, and then we start to see temperatures rebound. And yeah, I said rebound. Here's the daytime highs. Again, the yellows and reds are 50s and 60s. Uh, 70s for the extreme red, but for the most part, the country will stay in the 30s and 40s. Some areas only making it into the 20s and teens for high temperatures today on Thursday. Here's what the idea is for uh, precipitation across the United States. Again, the Northwest, watch out, snow, heavy snow possible, believe it or not, for Spokane, Washington, right? And then showers and thunderstorms across southern parts of Florida, southern parts of Texas, some minor lake effect snow in uh, New York, western New York, Erie, PA, and parts of New Hampshire and Vermont in the northern ponds as well. Not lake effect, but just light snow showers. And then tomorrow, Friday, showers in the south, more rain and snow for Washington and Oregon, heavy rain possible on the coast of Oregon, to be honest. And then we move to Saturday, and this is what we're thinking on Saturday. More showers and thunderstorms across the south. Look at this, dry and quiet for the bulk of the country, except for the spooky Spokane, Washington, where they might just get some more snow. Oh my God, watch out. Uh, more rain, too, possible for California as they've gotten a break for a couple days. Now we're starting to see some more moisture move in. So what is GFS thinking right now? Not a lot. High pressure is gonna dominate in the center of the Atlantic and it's gonna drive a lot of this moisture that we do get uh, later this month. It's gonna be rain for the most of us here in the Northeast. But as you see the Northwest having its fair share of moisture, an atmospheric river almost. And by Sunday, we start to see more rain and snow moving into Northern California storm developing across the south here florida and the panhandle georgia alabama and parts of south carolina to get drenched from this storm going into monday and then some more moisture moving down the coast of california through monday and tuesday before it's replaced again by more moisture in the northwest by wednesday christmas day looks like people that are going to get a white christmas it's because the temperature is going to stay cold enough from now until the end of the month for a chance for white Christmas as we will not see any fresh snow falling except if you live in the far western parts of Oregon and Washington, Northern California and Northwest parts of Colorado but that is all the snow that is slated to fall on Christmas Day. Uh, some of you in Minnesota might get some late snow showers but that's it folks. And as we get past Christmas there's that high pressure system that's sitting on the east coast that's driving rain through Illinois, Indiana, and parts of northern Ohio. And that's it. The temperatures are going to be right there on the cusp of freezing over the next several days as well. We're talking mid-30s to low 40s across Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and the northeast. Also, Indiana, Illinois, 
Missouri in the same boat with temperatures. So nothing crazy cold after this first blast of cold air. And then December 27th, a pretty big system tries to get its act together. Heavy snow for Kansas and southeastern parts of Nebraska and northwestern and western parts of Iowa into Minnesota and Wisconsin. That system moves out by the end of the year. And no lie, by the time we get rid of the system, it'll be December 30th. Light snow showers to invade once again in the northeast. And then it gets cold all over the United States. Uh, if there's any moisture moving towards you after December 30th, good chance it's going to be all snow if you live in the United States anywhere except for the southeast. So high pressure dominates towards the end of the month. January 1st comes around. Cold weather is expected for most of the United States. Snow all the way down into Arizona, New Mexico, once again finding its way into Texas as well early January. And then temperatures kind of rebound a little bit, just enough to make it ice in upstate New York and other parts of the Northwest. Huge amounts of rain in the South once again. Colder temperatures to follow this storm system as a major snowstorm tries to develop in the Northwest in Idaho. I know, scary folks, you're not used to hearing about that. But anyway, so right now, uh, snowstorms, not a lot. Uh, the Northwest is gonna see the most snow. If you have snow on the ground and temperatures will remain freezing or below, that is your only shot of white Christmas at this point. We only got six more days, so if we can have these temperatures cooperate, for the next six days for like for us up here in the northeast let me tell you something guys it snowed the other day tuesday into wednesday beautiful beautiful conditions i was wishing that the snow was a week later because yesterday would have been seven days away from christmas that would have been a perfect white christmas the tree branches the power lines everything was blue the skies and white snow on everything it was absolutely breathtaking but that's that's the winners here in upstate new york right all right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. We will see you back tomorrow morning with another live Grand Solar Minimum update. And then Friday evening, uh, live show. Not sure if it's a call-in or if it's just a regular, but we are still planning to do a call-in show, guys. It's getting close to the holiday, so our Patreon members, thank you for being patient. We will get back to normal programming as soon as possible once these crazy holidays are over with, too. It's just been a nightmare. All right, guys, have a great day today, and be safe out there, and we will talk soon. Take care. Do you like this show? Give us a thumbs up. Want to support us more? Share to your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below.